Hello, welcome back to the dev server, this is Lloyd Reynolds, and today we're taking a look at the Canberra B Mark II jet bomber for the British tech tree. It is uh, at a battle rating of 6.7, and I'm going to put the stack card up on the screen to the left right now, so you can take a look for yourself. It's expected to be very, very similar to the American B-57, as the B-57 is a Canberra itself, it's just a different version. Now both of the Canberras in the game for 1.43 are unarmed, so they have no uh, defensive capabilities at all, and the only thing they can do is fly around the map and bomb targets. This is very similar to the Arado, but unlike the Arado, um, this plane's huge. It's ridiculously huge. It's very, very large. The tail of the plane goes off the screen as you're flying, and um, it's probably larger than the B-17s. I'm not quite sure on that, as I don't know the, the size of this plane, but I don't think the B-17 goes off the screen at the back. Uh, the people who are going to enjoy flying this plane will be fairly limited, unless you really enjoy bombing targets, and then pretty much either uselessly flying around the map or returning to base to try to refuel and take off again before the game ends. This is a little test of how the bombs do on a friendly aircraft carrier. Now it's stock, it's armed with nine of these. And there you go. I believe that was enough to take it out. After you drop your bombs, you're expected to head back to base, rearm, refuel, and then repeat the process again. So, although I really like the look of this plane and the uh, the paint scheme, which very much resembles the Mark III C Meteor, as you know, some people call it the Sea Jesus. I might hold off on researching this, at least until I get the F-8 uh, Meteor, because it's slightly more useful in combat. Now, some other stats about this plane. Um, it shows a max repair cost of only 11,730 silver lines in realistic battles. That may change with added or removed modules. And it shows that it will cost 610,000 silver lions, followed by 170,000 silver lion crew train cost. Now, I'm not sure about the uh, arcade statistics since I mainly focus on the realistic aspect of things. Um, in arcade, this plane will probably do very well because it's a jet bomber. It can go high, it can stay there, and it can use its reticle to bomb things way down below. So if you start off a game in this, climb off to the side, and you stick around 5,000, 6,000, 7,000 meters and just bomb the targets, you'll probably do very well. In realistic battles, this is less so. In simulator battles, you might as well not fly it in my opinion. But of course, everyone's entitled to their own opinion, and if flying around the map with a limited supply of bombs and no offensive capabilities is your thing, then by all means, please, have fun doing it. As I said, I really like the look of this plane. I do look forward to flying it, but I'm probably not going to get it for the time being. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm going to try to do my best to uh, make videos on all the other new planes that will be released in 1.43, as the dev server is live right now, and I believe for the next three hours or so. So please take a look at that. I hope you enjoyed it, and have a good day.